AI taking over everything. Can a human stop it? This is man versus co-pilot. Hey everyone, I'm Amelia. And I'm Greg Treziak. Welcome to Man vs. Copilot. In this episode, we are tackling a terrible boss. Amelia, have you ever gotten a email that you had no idea how to respond to because your boss was being absolutely a poo emoji? Yes, and it is the absolute worst because you don't know how to respond and you just wish somebody was there to help you. We know that you have probably had some email horror stories. We want to hear them. Go ahead in the comments down below. Let us know what is the worst email you've ever gotten from a boss. I know I've gotten some pretty bad ones. I think the one we've got here today is something that's going to be a common situation everybody faces. In this episode, we're going to dive into Copilot for Outlook. How do we tackle these emails? We've set up an email scenario. It is really kind of uh, getting on our cases, like we're missing something, like we have to do a project. And what we're going to do is Amelia and I are going to try our best to come up with our best kind of responses, kind of going through the minefield of bosses and trying to not blame ourselves, look good, and just at least get through the email. Amelia's going to be using co Copilot. Copilot has some pretty cool things in Outlook, right? It definitely does, and I can't wait to show all of them to you. Whereas me, I'm gonna do it the traditional way. I'm gonna just think about the best response. I know my boss, I'll try my best to navigate it, and we'll see who wins. Remember, we're gonna be judging on three criteria here. Number one is accuracy. Did we hit everything in the email? Two, speed. Well, this is usually the one that I lose. And finally, creativity and tone. How did it sound? Did it come across okay? Let's find out. Okay, it's me, the human in this scenario. Oh, I am very worried I'm not gonna be able to beat the AI in any of these. Copilot is just a little bit too strong, but I'm gonna give them my best shot. Here's the email we've got cooking today. So, Greg and Amelia, I don't have time for this. Let's cut to the chase. Project Phoenix is a mess. It's falling behind and there's no good reason for it. I don't know what's going wrong or why, but I don't care about excuses, just fix it. By Wednesday, I want a solid, detailed, action plan for how this is going to move forward. We're meeting Monday at 2 p.m. You better have answers by then. And don't think for a second this is going to drag on any longer. You'll give me weekly updates every Friday at 3 p.m. from here on out, or I'll have to rethink who's running this. Okay, thanks, bro. Frankly, this should have been handled already, and I'm done asking nicely. If I have to follow up again, it won't be pleasant. Brian. If you know Brian, this is totally a fake email, but we've got it set up. He's playing along and let's go ahead and do a reply all. Wish me luck. Let's start it out here. Uh, dear Brian, that sounds, no, okay, Brian. Okay, uh, let's make it bigger font. How, how big is too big a font? All right, let's make it, I wanna be able to see it. Let's do that. Okay, I don't wanna sound like it's my fault. It's Amelia's fault, but I can't blame Amelia outright. <sighs> okay, okay, I'm thinking about it. I'm getting there. Okay, we've all been here. How do we navigate the boss minefield? I don't have time for this, let's cut chase. Project Phoenix is a mess. Totally agree. Okay, uh, totally understand, totally understand uh, the, that the delay on Project Phoenix is fresh oh, typo Jesus okay is frustrating Amelia and I are going uh, no okay Amelia and I are going to work harder Amelia and I are going to work more diligently on the project outline going forward. Okay, good, it's line one. Uh, okay, what's an action plan? Just fix it. By Wednesday, I want the action plan. We will work through lunch? No, I don't wanna waste my lunch. Okay, uh, we'll work through it together and get to the action plan to you ASAP. That means as soon as possible. I don't know if he knows. 
Okay, no. All right, so get it there ASAP. We're gonna meet Monday at two. I, I will, Amelia will set up a Teams meeting to discuss. Uh, don't drag, you give me weekly updates every Friday. Uh, I will set a reminder to also share the weekly updates your way. I have to rethink who's running this. I do still think Amelia and I can really deliver on this project. Good, should've been handled already. Okay, apologies for the inconvenience. Uh, sure, okay, convenience. Oh, I can't spell it, perfect, okay. Apologies for the inconvenience. Uh, all the best, Greg, put my signature, I got it. Okay, Brian, totally understand the delay on the Project Venus. Neil and I are gonna work through it more digitally. I love it. Okay, it's good. I'm gonna send it. All right, I tried my best. I give it, you know, I don't know, nine out of 10. I think it's pretty good. I don't wanna be too like, it's my fault. I don't wanna put it on Amelia, but we are competing, so why not? Let's see, can Amelia beat this email response? Let's find out. All right, so just looked over this email from Brian, pretty tough, but let's get Copilot to help me reply so that I can make sure my tone stays nice and even and professional while replying. I also wanna make sure that most of the blame is placed on Greg and also that I hit every point that Brian mentioned in his email to us. Let's go ahead and start a brand new email to reply to Brian here. I'm gonna go up and hit reply and and now I want to kind of draft this email using Copilot. So I'm gonna go up to my Copilot symbol and choose draft with Copilot. What do you want your email to say? Please respond to the below email in a professional tone. Make sure to reassure Brian that I can get the job done and generate. All right, thank you for reaching out about Project Phoenix. I want to assure you that I have the skills and expertise to handle this project successfully. I'm confident in my ability to deliver high quality work and meet the project's goals. Please let me know if there's anything specific you would like to discuss or if there are any concerns you have. I am more than happy to address them and provide additional information you may need. Thank you and I look forward to working on this project. It's very nicely worded, but I am missing a few things in this instance. So there are a few things I would like to change. I'm going to ask Copilot to please include action items in the email. All right, looks like Copilot is giving me another extra sentence here to move forward. I suggest scheduling a kickoff meeting to discuss the project objectives, timeline, and any specific requirements. This all sounds pretty good. There are a few other suggestions that I can make, so I can go to edit this prompt. I can either make it longer, make it shorter, sound more formal, direct, casual. I can even make it a poem if I want to. I'm gonna make this just a little bit longer because personally, I feel like longer emails just tend to sound a little bit better. And then if I want to keep it, I can just hit keep it. And then just to add to this, I can say, dear Brian, thank you for reaching out about Project Phoenix from Amelia. And that looks pretty good. I'm gonna CC Greg on this email so that he learns something from it because I'm sure that is going to be super helpful and hit send. Greg actually sent me his email already too. So I think what I wanna do is kind of ask Copilot what they think about what he sent. So I'm gonna copy the email, looks kinda of short. And I am going to go up to new mail and I'm gonna go ahead and paste this in. And what I'm going to ask Copilot to do at this point is I'm gonna go up to coaching by Copilot. It is going to analyze this email and let me know how it sounds. All right, it says tone. Greg should probably consider more positive language. Oh, that's tough, Greg. It's saying to replace totally understand with I understand the delay. Let's check reader sentiment here. Replace we will work it together with we are committed to working together. So he needs to make the reader feel a little bit more appreciated. Clarity, provide more specific details. That's very important as well. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna apply all these 
these suggestions to Greg's email because that is an option here. And I'm going to replace it and I'm gonna send this to Greg so he learns just a little bit more about how he should be speaking to our boss. Um, Learn from my suggestions. You're welcome. And let's just send this on over to G Treziak. Awesome, all right. Greg has learned two lessons today, but I did also notice in his email that he said I would schedule a meeting. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and do that right here in Outlook. Thankfully, right at the top, it says schedule with Copilot. So right here from this email, I can go to schedule with Copilot. It's going to include me, Brian, and Greg in the meeting. I can pick a time. It comes with an agenda as well. It's going to compare our schedules to give us a good time. I feel like Brian said something about Friday. I'm gonna relook at this email really quick. Looks like he wants to meet Monday at 2 p.m. and then every Friday after that. So Monday at 2 p.m. is when we are going to meet. I will go ahead and schedule this meeting. I'll keep it a Teams meeting as well and send that right away. Sorry, Greg. Looks like Copilot came for you again. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, I I always think I when I thought about this series, I was like, oh, I could totally be co-pilot. I'm learning very quickly. This is a little bit harder than I thought. But let's look at my email, see how it came out, and maybe you could decide. All right, so this is my first one. Brian, totally understand the delay. You know, we're gonna work digitally, you know, together. You really needed to set up the invite. Appreciate you doing that. And quick, short, to the point, I don't feel like I put the blame on me or you, maybe a little bit of you, but not too bad, and I was pretty new. Neutral. I feel like in these situations, you've got an angry email. If you act a little bit more neutral, maybe it like palms the waters. I don't know. Let's take a look at yours. Yeah. Is this one right here. Wow. Learn from my suggestions. Great. Let's take a look at that one next. All right. Dear Brian, thank you for reaching out. Okay. I don't love that it's all one big chunky paragraph, but that's just me. Whatever. Sure you that the skills and the expertise to handle the project successfully. I'm confident in my ability to deliver, to move forward. I want to kick off meeting. Additionally, please let me know if there are any concerns. Hey, I'm more than happy. Sounds pretty reassuring, right? I don't like this. This is pretty good. It's to the point. It's positive. I like that. It's I like the kickoff meeting. I thought that was good. Kind of mentioned like we talk about it, but I don't know. I feel like maybe I could have been more descriptive mm -hmm. and it seems like Copilot kind of did that. Okay, so the feature you brought up was this whole ability to give it something and then it suggests it. So this is my email that you fixed. Yes, I put your email in with coaching with Copilot and it came back with some suggestions on how you could make it just a little bit better in just a few specific areas. Okay, let's take a look. So, Brian, I understand the delay on the Project Phoenix is frustrating. We appreciate your patience. Amelia and I will work more diligently on the project outline. We're committed to working together. We'll plan ASAP. So it's still being- Sounds like you still. It's still keeping my like general frame. Okay, Amelia will set up a Teams meeting. Yeah, and we'll focus on the task, the agenda, your feedback's important. Okay, I think I might agree that it seems a little bit more polished and it seems a little bit more positive? Did you give it like a tone prompt or something? It said that your tone just wasn't as appreciative. And so I used coaching with Copilot and I applied that suggestion to your email. Well, okay. First off, accuracy. I felt like you hit the action items a little bit better from Brian. So I think we got to give you that score. Speed, definitely you. <laughs> let's, not even, let's not even beat around the bush. It took me a lot longer to craft. And you know what, honestly, sometimes writing these emails, it can be pretty anxiety driving. Like you get pretty scared about it. Like I know for me, I get pretty anxious when I get an email like this and I gotta choose how am I gonna appropriately respond? I don't wanna step on toes. I don't wanna be aggressive. Like what do I do? Last one, creativity. I don't know, what do you think? You gotta give me props here, Greg. I did schedule the Teams meeting right there in Outlook straight from our email using Copilot. Yeah, geez. I mean, one last look. Uh, okay, I, I don't know. Maybe it's a clean sweep. Hey, let us know down in the comments below who do you think won? Who was more accurate? Who had the creativity? Obviously, Copilot is a little bit faster, but maybe there's some intricacies that you saw that you liked. Who knows? As far as right now, I think I might give Copilot the victory again. <laughs> Copilot reigns supreme. <laughs> All right, that's our episode. 
episode. Remember, comment down below with your worst boss email story. We're looking forward to hearing about it. I know I've had some terrible ones. Oh, geez. Again, this has been Man vs. Copilot for Outlook. The only question is, who won? What's next?